Hello everyone and welcome back to U16's YouTube channel. The unexpected rise of COVID-19 pandemic has been the harbinger of unprecedented growth in the global OTT market. Our discussion today will revolve around how COVID-19 has fueled the global OTT video business and how to sustain this growth momentum in the OTT space. Let us start by taking a look at some interesting statistics on the OTT video on demand viewership. According to Brightcore's Q2 2020 Global Video Index, the percentage of viewers in the entertainment sector has risen by 30% in the first half of 2020 as compared to the first half of 2019. Another report by Research and Market states that Western Europe is forecast to have 197 million subscriber video on demand subscriptions by 2025, doubling from 88 million at the end of 2019. Spurred by the current COVID crisis, about 45 million subscribers will be added in 2020 alone. On the OTT revenue front, according to Research Time report, the global OTT market, which accounted for 110 billion in 2018, is expected to garner 438.5 billion by 2026, growing at a healthy growth rate of 19.1%. The OTT market has already garnered 155.6 billion in the current situation. Current estimates also state that the average time spent on subscription OTT video on demand content in the US alone has risen by 23% from last year and is expected to surpass 62 minutes per day in 2020. Moving on, COVID has enabled OTT video to be a significant source of entertainment for viewers. Let us also take a look at some of the factors that have accelerated the OTT video consumption along with this pandemic. These are increasing broadband penetration, growing demand for exclusive content, innovative pricing models, smartphone penetration and high-speed mobile internet, advances in media streaming technologies, and personalization in OTT applications. We will now discuss each of the catalysts in detail and how they have facilitated the OTT market growth, starting with increasing broadband penetration. A key driver in accelerating the OTT video segment's growth is the marked increase in broadband penetration. Besides, COVID-19 has made governments realize the value of advanced connectivity and its applicability in use cases such as advanced telemedicine, remote working, and education through augmented and virtual reality. Governments all over the world are investing in high-speed broadband initiatives to amplify broadband coverage and adoption. Developing countries that lagged in previous network deployments are making 5G network development their national priority. Moving ahead with smartphone penetration and accessible high-speed mobile internet. Out of the 4.78 billion mobile phone users in the world today, 3.5 billion are smartphone users. A smartphone with mobile internet connectivity gives them the access to subscribe OTT services anytime, anywhere, and on any device. This is also aided by the fact that mobile network operators, particularly in emerging countries in APAC and Middle East and Africa regions, have accelerated the rollout of mobile broadband and LTE. Mobile network operator partnerships and bundling of packages have made it affordable for consumers to gain access to even more content on their mobile devices. The advances in media streaming technologies. OTT video was born out of a cord cutting mindset. Users want to view their content at any time, any place, and on any device. Technology has played a pivotal role in the propagation of OTT video services. Complementary features such as streaming services being cloud-based, support for live content with video on demand, large content repositories, zero buffering, adaptive bitrate streaming, and intuitive content discovery make these OTT platforms easy to use. 
Another important catalyst for growth has been the introduction of personalization in OTT applications. Internet penetration, proliferation of smart devices, and an increase in disposable income have enabled users to avail OTT services at the click of their fingertips. Home entertainment has made its way via streaming services. Localization of content, a gamut of choices with regards to genre, titles, personalization, and flexibility of viewing on any device at any place, any time has provided a seamless experience to users. From an OTT service provider perspective, such deep consumer insights gleaned from OTT applications help them tailor their offerings by making data-driven decisions. The introduction of innovative pricing models. OTT video on demand can be monetized under various models such as subscriber video on demand, transactional video on demand, or advertising-based video on demand. Freemium is another popular model being used by OTT platforms. In this model, open access to a select catalog of content is provided as an incentive to gain new subscribers, while access to premium content is chargeable to pay subscribers. This helps to drive up the average revenue per user and grow the overall subscriber base. Different pricing models apply to different markets. For instance, OTT players in India are adopting aggressive distribution and pricing strategies, including sachet pricing and mobile-only packs introduced by Netflix. Another important factor is the growing demand for exclusive content. While linear TV viewership has increased by approximately 6 to 7 percent, OTT video on demand viewership has increased by 38 percent during the COVID crisis. Therefore, production houses are taking a plunge in the digital space to monetize their existing content as no free fresh content was being created during the global lockdowns. OTT service providers have begun establishing exclusive tie-ups with broadcasting networks to offer personalized TV experiences. Few examples of such mutually beneficial partnerships are Sky partnering with Netflix and Disney Plus Alt Balaji with Z5 and Hotstar with Star India. Such mutually beneficial partnerships with bundled offerings will help OTT providers present a more captivating offering and appeal to many customers. Instead of being viewed as competitors, OTT service providers, production houses, and broadcasting networks work together to gain a more substantial market share. This is especially favorable in the current situation where customers are inclined towards stacking two or more platforms. The rise in subscriber base due to COVID is not an advantage that will last for long. Life will get back to normalcy as conditions improve. As per a research and markets report, the global OTT streaming market is expected to grow at a CAGR of 55% from 104 billion in 2019 to 161 billion in 2020. This growth is mainly attributed to the current COVID-19 outbreak. The market is expected to stabilize and is estimated to reach 169 billion in 2023, growing at a CAGR of 14% from 2021. We will look at how the growth momentum in OTT space can be sustained and what OTT platform players can do to keep their subscriber churn at bay. The answer lies in adopting technology that can help provide a great customer experience. Here are few critical technologies that will help OTT players achieve it. These are innovation in video compression technologies adoption of new age networking technologies, hyper-personalization techniques and real-time engagement, multi-CDN strategies, leveraging benefits of the cloud, and secure media streaming experiences. We will now discuss the technologies that OTT players can adopt for better customer experience in a greater detail. 
the innovation in video compression technologies. To gain efficiency and tackle bandwidth consumption, content providers have been innovating on video compression technologies long before the onset of COVID, more than 20 years ago to be precise. In the last couple of years, artificial intelligence is driving the next frontier of video compression enhancements to promise faster advancement. AI is being used to achieve better video quality at a given bitrate or even better achieve a lower bitrate without compromising the video quality. Advances are also being made in other directions like higher density where the same video quality will use less computing resources and provide a better quality of experience. As more and more people shift from linear broadcast and pay TV to OTT services, Streaming companies must invest in OPEX optimization to ensure seamless, buffer-free video viewing experience for their subscribers. Another important factor is providing secure media streaming experiences. Along with a great viewing experience, keeping the content secure and tamper-proof is essential. Hackers are always on the prowl to compromise the OTT platform steal content and users information. The revenues generated via OTT services are severely compromised when premium content gets leaked to piracy platforms. The exposure of premium content also jeopardizes compliance with content right owners, thereby leading to legal actions against the attacked OTT provider. The illegal sale of video content in 2019 cost the industry 9.1 billion. Analysts have also predicted that it would further increase to 12.5 billion by 2024, enabling key security features such as server-side security and firewall, authorization tokens, watermarking techniques, being SSL certified and having studio approved DRM integration can help mitigate the threat from piracy and illegal streaming. Leveraging benefits of cloud. As the number of subscribers increase, there will be unpredictable demand with spikes and surges in viewership. These contingencies must be dealt with in real time, else customer churn is bound to happen. By migrating to cloud OTT, players can take advantage of cloud computing's on-demand characteristics, making their applications scalable and flexible. It also helps to reduce the total cost of ownership by removing dependency on on-site data centers for running their legacy applications. Another factor is to focus on multi-CDN strategies as the way to move forward. Media streaming infrastructure companies have been working incessantly on the network side to address growing challenges of increased volume, diversity and content availability. OTT companies have come up with various multi-CDN strategies to deal with the ever-increasing problem of load, latency, and quality. Implementing these strategies is believed to give an edge to broadcasters, content providers, telecom, and cable operators in a multi-CDN environment. They have complete control over real-time, in-session, and per-segment delivery when streaming media. The implementation of hyper-personalization techniques by OTT service providers. OTT players are investing in new age technologies such as machine learning, AI, deep video analytics to understand their customers better and remain competitive in the market. A strong recommendation engine increases the stickiness of platform, hence reducing the customer churn. Producing fresh content is increasingly becoming difficult in the ongoing COVID scenario. Therefore, having strong recommendation engine helps to showcase the less explored parts of a vast content library even after the pandemic situation has eased. Gamification of content also helps in tackling exigencies that happen when content production is hampered. Direct-to-customer engagement is one of the best ways for media companies to sustain solid relationships with consumers. It helps to prevent their competitors from poaching them 
and reinvigorate the disengaged customers by providing tailored offerings. Seamless interaction with customers via orchestration between applications, web, TV bots has been a key feature. It helps traditional contact centers to use in-app messaging and bots to personalize the user's experience. The adoption of new age networking technologies. 5G along with mobile edge computing will be instrumental in delivering immersive live content experiences. It unravels new and exciting opportunities for a gamut of media services that can be delivered over mobile networks. Powered by 5G, newer applications such as 4K video, AR VR based virtual user experiences, 360 live streaming, collaborative viewing and working, location based experiences, multiplayer video game streaming, high definition live broadcasting of events and so on will drive the OTT growth. According to 5G Economics of Entertainment report commissioned by Intel and conducted by OVM, 5G enabled media and entertainment experiences would generate up to 1.3 trillion revenue by 2028. Apart from the COVID pandemic, advances in 5G technologies that usher a profound bandwidth and low latency will lead the race and provide immersive media experiences to consumer devices. The report also states that 2025 will be a watershed year for 5G in media and entertainment as it will contribute to 57% of the global wireless revenue. We will now look at an excerpt from this report. I will give you a few seconds to absorb this. With this, we come towards the end of our discussion. If you are looking for an end-to-end -end solution for video delivery or services for your audio video streaming needs, while you can focus exclusively on content creation, you can visit us on www.hse.com or email us at info at the rate Thank you.